What is happening everyone, Jimmo here, and today I'm going to show you some really cool work from a good friend of mine, Keegan DeFrance, who is a custom painter in Toronto. Well, not just custom, he does production work as well, Collision, but he has a real passion and talent for creating some really cool things, and I wanted to show some of the stuff, because I stop in there all the time, and I've always got my camera going, it's, he'll let me know when he's got something really cool. And uh, usually I'll share it on inst Instagram. You've probably seen it before at Little Fury One. And I'll make sure there's a link at the end so you can check out some of the other cool work he's done. So what I've got been doing right here for me is it's for my son's baseball team. And they wanted a really cool looking helmet for it's, um, I guess, a sign of recognition for a player that had some sort of extraordinary effort or achievement through the game and they get to take this home with them until the next one and it gives them a little thrill and keeps them motivated so I wanted it to look extra cool and uh, I reached out to Keegan to do something about that so what he's done is applied a black base coat down over this helmet and now he's going to throw on some flake here so this is going right into wet clear coat so he's got a coat of clear down there and he's going to use this metal flake gun that's exactly what it's designed for and he's going to lay it on there uh, and then he'll do it the other side right after. And you can see it looks pretty pretty funky and unique. So there's a lot of different types of metal flake you can get. There's different sizes, different color combinations. Um, I forget what the exact name of this one was, but what he tends to roll with and he's what, what he's told me to purchase for the work that I've been doing is Paint Huffer. So I'm sure you can find that with a quick Google search. And there we go. We got this thing all flaked up took him no time at all makes a mess as you can see but um, I guess that's the price to pay for some wicked looking stuff so one day I stopped by out of the blue and he had these panels all spread across the shop some unique looking things that were pretty cool looking so I had to know exactly what he was doing and the whole process so I sat in while he created one. So basically what he does in advance is he'll do a similar thing as the helmet, put down a black base coat, I believe for the most of them, and then apply a flake here and then clear coat them and then sand them down again. And then he starts to apply his candy. And what's going to happen after these, after these things are created is he'll apply a pinstripe, some sort of a design around it. And in this actual case, he was shipping these ones off to a paint show known as Crazy Paint at the Cleveland Piston Powered Autorama, where they bring together all kinds of creative people in the industry to produce all kinds of interesting art that gets auctioned off and all of the proceeds go to charity. And this piece was actually pinstriped by a guy you might know, Ryan from Counting Cars, did the design on this board. And um, now you can have a look at how this thing ended off. So pretty cool piece there. And I'm just going to let the rest of this video roll. And you guys can check out all of this cool stuff. Because, well, you know what? This stuff pretty well just speaks for itself. And once again, his Instagram link will be in the description. So you can show him some love there. And if you have any questions about the stuff he's doing, I'm sure he'd love to talk about it. Um, so you can get a hold of him there. And if you want to see more of this or you want to see some tutorials then let me know, let Keegan know, and I'm sure we can probably work something out. So that's where we're going to leave it today. Thanks for watching, and we shall see you next time.